Hello, this is Joe, back with another video showing you a quick tutorial how to do an ILS onto a carrier in Microsoft Flight Simulator. First, you want to uh, get the jet up and running, make sure everything's turned on. Go over to the gesture menu, go to TACAN, go to Preset Carriers, and just pick out the carrier that you're wanting to land on. And Jester will tune the frequency to that carrier for your ILS frequency. Uh, if you need a quick reference on what number carrier, you can always use the uh, drone cam to go look at the carrier itself. And back out of the menu. And turn the course knob to line up with the direction the carrier is pointing. If you're already on the carrier, you can look at your own heading to see which way the carrier is pointing. And to launch off of any carrier in any India Fox Echo aircraft, hold the parking brake, lower the launch bar, go to afterburner, and then release the brake. slide you off the deck. And basically you run it like you're running a regular pattern at a small field in a little Cessna. Uh, left hand turns. Victory 2 leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. I wish they'd leave me alone. I'm trying to fly an airplane here. Copy that say again, <laughs> please. Victory 2 leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. Tower Victory 2 frequency change. And here's where you'd come down to the steer command and click the center button. That'll flip on the ILS. Make sure your HUD and VDI are flipped to ILS as well on that side panel. You can already see the crosshairs. Uh, of course, they're not lined up because we're not even behind the ship yet, but... And, uh... Slow down to around 220 knots to lower the gear and flaps. Uh, make sure you lower the hook as well. Go ahead and use full flaps. At this point, you don't really need to go any faster than 200 knots, uh, but no slower than 150. Uh, after the turn, you can slow it down to around 160, uh, 170, 160 knots uh, is a good approach speed. These speeds are for the uh, Tomcat, by the way. It'll be different for other aircrafts. And just keep turning to look at the carrier to judge your distance and when you should turn. Uh, things like that. If it's a clear day, if it's cloudy, the procedure will be a little bit different and you'll have to use a different process to line up at the back of the uh, carrier. I might learn how to do that and get good at it and then make a tutorial video on doing it in low visibility.
and uh, of course try to keep the uh, needles lined up like a plus sign all the way in uh, zoom in as needed to see the carrier I don't do a very good job of uh, keeping the glide slope on. In fact, I come in a little low uh, all the way in on this approach, I believe. But uh, you want to try your best to stay on glide slope. If you come in too low, you're likely to hit the butt front of the or the back of the ship. Or if you come in too high, you're likely to miss the whole ship entirely. And uh, and if you come in too high, you'll be chopping the power and then diving for the ship and you'll either go nose first into the ship or you'll be stalling and it'll fall like a rock and like I said keep it about 160 knots 170 uh, use very small amounts of power to uh, climb or descend uh, the glide slope uh, very small amounts and never pull the engines back to idle because the jet engines take a long time to spool back up and that's time you won't have and just kind of pitch up just a little bit and there you go now in the real world you'd go full afterburner uh, in case the uh, hook didn't catch one of the wires and you do a go around of course it's a simulator and I've only done that once or twice and you wouldn't let off the afterburner until you know you've come to a stop and then once you're secure on the deck uh, and unhooked you taxi off the uh, run runway strip there to make room for the uh, next fighter jet coming in to land but using the ILS will really help with uh, learning how, how it's visually supposed to look outside the windshield uh, coming into land on the carrier uh, and then you get to a point where you can just see it and just do it by sight alone and that's the uh, quick and easy tutorial for the ILS landing on a carrier